say accreditation. Soccer, soccer. I'd say B Society. Lock it in. Uh, pass, you want? Two, one. Yeah, quick. pass. Ooh, <laughs> just got there. <laughs> Hi, Yo. Hi. How are you? Good. Yo, Binfield. He's 27 years of age, a library resource officer at Kangan Institute. Lives in North Melbourne, Victoria. What's, what's Yo short for? Yoland. Yoland. Yes. That's a lovely name, isn't it? James is your partner. Go, James. Hey. How are you? Good. That's the way. Hey, you went to the doctor because you felt seasick all the time. Doctor said it was anxiety. Asked you what you're anxious about. You said you worried that you wouldn't achieve your goals. The doctor asked you what your goals were, and you said. I'd like to live on a boat. Yeah. I didn't put two and two together at all. But, yeah. 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 But there you go. You're thinking about living on a boat and you're getting seasick all the time. Anyway, yo, we could yeah. banter like this all day, but you must answer this question. Are you ready? No. Tell me when. Okay, go. It is believed that the sport of soccer takes its name from what word? Accreditation, society, sock, association. Had to get a sport question, um, and I can't pass. No. So eight seconds. I guess I'll just give it a go and say society. You reckon? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. It's in now. Yo, no. no, no, no. See, it was known as originally as association football. Oh, so right. So it's de-association. Yeah. Uh, so the oh, colloquial well. term originally in the 1880s. <laughs> that's all right. So that's where soccer came from, association. Okay. Joe, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, Grant. Hello, Ed. I'm well, mate. Grant Ellerill is from Greensburn, Victoria. He's a business development manager, 46 years of age. Hey, Grant, hold fire, buddy. We're going to play for a quarter of a million dollars. That's boys' own annual stuff, too. Right after the break here in the hot seat. The final hours of the Baden Clay murder trial. The husband accused of murdering his wife. Guilty or not guilty? The countdown to a verdict has begun. Every breaking development as it happens live. Comprehensive coverage. Only on Nine News, nightly at six. Take the iSelect D-Tax and get health insurance before the June 30 tax deadline. If you don't, you could be throwing away $900. Probably made your point. You can recreate the silence of nature at home. All you need is KFC's popcorn chicken box. You hear that? Sounds like a whole lot of sweet, sweet popcorn chicken, a fillet burger, and your favourite sides, but only for a limited time. Electro dry. Hmm. Give a 14 day satisfaction guarantee. It's a little better than two minutes. Electro dry carpet cleaning. You deserve to be. Satisfied. Try, try, Electra Dry, Electra Dry. Enjoy an exciting day full of free activities and entertainment in support of the Children's Hospital Foundation's Wonder Day. Bring the whole family down to the Coyamal Piazza at South Bank on Saturday the 5th of July. You never know who you'll run into with surprise visitors from Nickelodeon and Warner Brothers Movie World. Some people say a shed is just a shed. But in 1991, we changed all that. When you buy a Titan, we actually make your shed how you want it. 25% thicker steel, guaranteed quality. Manufactured by the men and women in our business who take pride in knowing your shed will be standing long after we're all gone. You'll be lucky you got a Titan. We all want style and sophistication, especially in our bathrooms. Renovating your bathroom costs less than you might think. At Highgrove Bathrooms End of Financial Year Sale, it's the perfect time to create the bathroom you've always dreamt of. Highgrove Bathrooms End of Financial Year Sale is on now, but only while stocks last. At Carpet Call, we want to sell our stock, not count it. Carpet your whole house for around $2,000 in glorious plush pile and get immediate installation where stocks are available. Hard-wearing strand-woven bamboo flooring from $59 per square meter. Universal click system laminate from $90.95 per square meter. Or a beautiful fashion rug starting from just $200. And if you can find any of these products advertised for less elsewhere, we'll double the difference and refund it to you. At Carpet Call, we want to sell it, not count it. Carpet Call. The experts in the trade. 
With the eyes of the world on South America, Australia's craziest explorers will swim in sewage, cook on a volcano, lose their minds, and prove how manly they really are. I can't do this anymore. Buckle up. I honestly thought I was going to die. For their most ripping adventure yet. And Andy's Cap Year South America starts Tuesday, 7.30 on 9. This program proudly brought to you by Inner Health Plus. Have you had your Inner Health Plus today? Welcome back to the hot seat. Grant Ellery is ready to go. All right, let's go for $500. In the colour code CMYK, what does the letter C represent? A. Crimson. B. Cream. C. Cerise. D. Cyan. CMYK. Never actually heard of it. Um, I'm thinking. You given can it's, pass if you like. Yeah, I'm thinking I might pass it. I actually, I, I really don't know. I'd Catch you later, Grant. Throwing the record. See you later. Okay, thank you. Andrew, welcome to the hot seat. Thank you, Eddie. Andrew Gibson is from Point Leo in Victoria, a beautiful part of the world. These days retired from the steel industry, 63 years of age. Larry is your wife there. Hi, Larry. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. Have you got any idea about this question, Andrew? Uh, actually, I think I do know the answer. Oh, yes, fantastic, because Grant and I have got no idea. <laughs> All right, I'll ask you the question. We'll find out a bit more about you. Let's hope you got it right. In the colour code, CMYK. What does the letter C represent? Crimson, cream, cerise, cyan. Uh, well, my wife's a bit of an artist, and so, as I, people often say, it'd probably kill me if I didn't give the answer, which is D, lock in D. Eddie. Lock in D, cyan is correct for $500. <laughs> ah. I wanted to get one right, Ed. <laughs> there are the four ink colours used in colour printing, of course. CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and the K is for the black Key. There you go. Hey, thousand dollars. Ready to go? Ready to go. The Merry Melodies cartoon series was produced by which company? A. Warner Brothers. B. 20th Century Fox. C. Walt Disney Studios. D. Hanna Barbera. Well, I don't know the answer to this, Ed, but I'm thinking I'll go with A. Warner Brothers. Please, could lock that in for me. Locked in and correct for a thousand dollars. Looney Tunes was also in there. Characters like Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck and more. I used to love that, Merry Melodies and all that stuff. Did you like the cartoons and those things? I liked them. Yeah, I did like the cartoons. Yeah, fantastic. $1,500. Good luck, Andrew. The name of which of these countries is incorrectly spelled? A. Colombia. B. Morocco. C. Philippines. D. Papua New Guinea. One is, is spelled incorrectly. Well, they all look right to me, I have to say. So, uh, I will toss out Colombia and Papua New Guinea. So, it's got to be Philippines or Morocco. Morocco could have a double R and one C, or Philippines could have one L and two P. So, I will lock in C. Philippines is locked in. You got it right for 1500 Should have had one L and two P's as opposed to two P's and one L in Philippines. Okay. Tell me about being run over. What happened? You stopped to help somebody and they ran you over. Well, you got run over while helping. Uh, yeah, I stopped in an accident. I was coming home from basketball with the wife and kids and being a lifesaver, I've got some first aid training. There was an accident, stopped to help. Um, and then a car came along, um, the lady driving, didn't see all the people waving or the light cars flashing their lights and ran right over the top of me. Well, she didn't run over the top of me. She ran underneath me. I flew off the road and... They lost me in the bush for a little while and then, anyway, eventually I got in the ambulance and went to hospital, had a few weeks in hospital, multiple broken bones and... Jeez! Uh, but so, hey, so, it came reasonably good. So, so luckily she didn't see the cars flashing their lights, all the people around, so she hit you pretty hard. Yeah, full on, full frontal. Yeah, yeah. flicked you up in the air. So far that they couldn't find you for a while. Yes, that's right. And how many bones were broken? Uh, well, after I came out of hospital they said it was 29, but I did find oh. a few later on. Oh. Larry, where were you at this stage? With him. What happened? He just disappeared. 
Yeah, it's on the side of the road in the bush. You must have thought it was, it was horrific. All, must have yeah. thought it was the, the worst, did you? Uh huh. How fast was she going? Oh well, I don't know because um, I was down the road a bit looking at something else that had happened. Yeah. But that my kids <sighs> standing on the side of the road saw it. What a horrible scene. Yeah. The kids okay now with it all? Yes. And how long did it take you to get better, Andrew? A year. Jeez. Wow. Mate, we're going to take a break. Not that one. <laughs> we're going to come back. Eight questions for a quarter of a million dollars, okay? Yep. Good to have you here, pal. <laughs> Playing you. it all in the hot seat Pleasure right after here. the break. Aussie drug addicts getting high in public parks. But what happens next will shock you. On a current affair, how exclusive videos were parents shooting up in front of their kids. Now the outraged council going undercover to stop it. A perfect environment for drug dealers. A current affair tonight. Rugs a Million's famous $50 Friday. 200 yours for 50. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Rugs up to $200 now 50. Rugs a Million $50 Friday. At Jack Purcell Meats, we sell lots of meat. At prices the supermarkets can't get near. You'll find 15 rolling specials every week on our website and more in store. Take a look now at jackpurcellmeats.com.au and you'll say... I'll be back, Jack! Send kisses for free on RSVP. Download the app now. Journey with us into the world of the whales for an unforgettable ocean adventure. Experience the excitement of Australia's premier whale watching cruise with the marine expert SeaWorld Whale Watch. Call us or visit seaworldwhalewatch.com.au. Foxtel gives you the freedom to enjoy brilliant entertainment when and where you like. And for a limited time, you can get $25 off any package every month on a short six month plan. You'll save $150. All our packages include Foxtel IQ, which lets you pause and rewind live TV. And if you connect your box to the internet, you can look back up to 24 hours in the TV guide to catch up on a range of shows you might have missed. So you can access amazing shows anytime. You can even set an entire series to record from your smartphone. Foxtel Go is also included, so you can watch shows on compatible tablets and smartphones. So that's $25 off any Foxtel package every month on a short six-month plan, plus Foxtel IQ and Foxtel Go. Plus our packages are flexible, so you can change your package up or down each month. Experience better shows when you want, where you want. Hurry, call 1300 887 208. Offer ends June 30. We admitted our commercial has dated, but everything was pretty awful back in the 90s. Mobiles could only make phone calls, rollerblades, discmans, dialing the internet, developing your photos at the chemist. Acid wash, double denim, scrunchies, these things, shoes that light up when you run, Y2K compliancy. A lot's changed since 1992. And so have we. So we'll forgive you for the Macarena and you forgive us for that dance. I feel like chicken tonight. Congratulations, you just won a quarter of a million. Brisbane, this is your chance to change your life forever. Hot Seat Auditions are in Brisbane. Register at 9jumpin.com.au slash hot seat. Brisbane, hot seat is where it happens. Don't miss out. Welcome back. Andrew Gibson's in the hot seat. We just heard the horrible story about being cle cleaned up by a car doing 100 k's while he's trying to help somebody on the side of the road. He also helped a mate once. He had a heart attack in 1990. Gave him mouth-to-mouth, uh, -mouth, revived him, and he's still going. So you've given him 20-odd years of uh, extra fun. Yes. G'day, John. Hope you're going well. <laughs> John's going well. And also a volunteer in uh, the uh, bushfires with the CFA and Blaze Aid and all sorts of people. So, mate, you're into the community. You're obviously a good man. Father of three. Larry's up the back there. Good on you, Larry. He's a good man, is he? Yes, he is. Seems like it too. Come on, mate. Let's win some money. For $2,500. A bathometer is an instrument for measuring what aspect of water? A. Salinity. B. Depth. C. Current. D. Clarity. Uh, well, I don't know what a bathometer is, but I knew that, do know that a bathysphere is one of those things that goes right down to the extreme depth, so I will lock in B. Depth. 
Depth is in. Depth is correct for two and a half hours. <laughs> for the Greek word bathos for deep, 4,000. Who filmed the famous World War II documentary Kokoda Frontline? A. Frank Hurley. B. J.P. Campbell. C. Damien Perra. D. Hubert Wilkins. Uh, well, I do know that Damien Parra was a very famous war um, photographer and I've got a mental image of him sort of slopping through the mud, so I'm going to lock in C, Damien Parra and hope for the best. Locked in and correct for $4,000. <laughs> uh, his film actually won an Oscar in 1942 for Best Documentary Feature. Uh, during the Second World War, and I think there's a movie coming out reasonably shortly, or at least a documentary, one or the other, about him. So we'll be able to see that coming up very, very shortly. Six questions ago, we've got uh, five contestants left and a quarter of a million on the board for six grand. Which major tennis singles title did Lee Na win in 2011? A French Open, B US Open, C Wimbledon, D Australian Open. French Open, US Open, Wimbledon, Australian Open. Lee Na, 2011. OK, well, it could have been any one of those, and, and I am aware that Lee Na is a top women's tennis player, but I am going to lock in the Australian Open. Final answer? Final answer. Locked in. Ah, she won this year's Australian Open. She won the 2011 French Open. Uh, I'm sorry, Andrew. Some of them you don't know, Ed. Nah, uh, mate, you're going beautifully. Good luck with Thank everything, you, mate. Thank, Thank you very much. Hello, Jody Zeninetti. Hello. Eddie. How are you? I'm good. How are 32 you? 32 years of age, a youth worker with Headspace in Frankston yep. in the Brotherhood of St. Lawrence. You're from Karen Downs. Douglas is your partner. Hi, Doug. Good day, Eddie. How, how are, you? are you, buddy? Good. That's all right. Welcome to the show. Volunteer with the Sudanese community, assisting with homework, English and socialisation. How are they going in the Sudanese community? Good. Frankston has quite a large community of recently arrived migrants, and, um, predominantly Sudanese people, yeah. and they come together once a week, um, all the way from the parents down to the babies, get together and um, practice English, um, work on their homework and just have a good time, get to know people. Good on you, Jodie. That's a great thing to do. Good luck for $6,000. Formerly married to Princess Margaret, Lord Snowden is best known for his work as a what? A. Musician. B. Poet. C. Barrister. D. Photographer. I have Lord Snowden. Absolutely no idea. Princess Margaret's first husband, Lord Snowden. Literally no idea. I'm tossing up between barrister and poet, but I don't actually know why. Four contestants, five questions. Ten seconds. You know what, I'm just going to have a guess. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a barrister. I didn't actually know what it meant, but I thought it sounded good, so lock in C, Eddie. Locked in. Give you the answer right after oh. this. <laughs> Next, Jared Baden Clay breaks down in tears as he gives his version of the night his wife went missing. We have special live coverage. Exclusive video, a baby rescued from a siege at Kabulcha, and why our reporter got this response to her questions. Brisbane rape rage, from Breckenridge to Maruka in Wishart. Why mums, dads and pensioners are joining the revolt against rape rises. A current affair tonight. It's time we celebrate the doers, the builders, the bakers, the fancy clothes makers. The protectors, the nurturers, the entertainers and the people who make us all look beautiful. The mariners and miners, mechanics and medics, the graziers and glaziers and people who just amaze you. You're the people who make the world turn. You're the people who make great happen. TPG presents our Super Value Bundle. Get unlimited ADSL2 Plus and home phone line rental. Plus, unlimited local and standard national calls to landlines. Plus, 100 international minutes around the world per month. Plus, a Wi-Fi modem. All for $69.99 a month. Yep, $69.99 a month. TPG is a multi-award winner. tpg.com.au Queensland, Game 3 
July 9. Book now. Kmart Sports Half Yearly Sale is now on. Get massive savings like 30 to 50% off a huge range of men's, women's and kids' clothing, 40% off all ski jackets and pants, and save big on Nike footwear with over 100 styles reduced to clear. Kmart Sports Mega Sports Sale on now. Hurry while stocks last. Get ready for the Bar Pavilion's Mid-Year Mega Sale. 25 to 60% off store-wide. All furniture, all homewares. Take it home today with Bar Pavilion's No Interest Ever Finance. For your nearest store, visit barpav.com.au. With APIA's Drive Less, Pay Less discount, APIA customers driving less than 20,000 kilometres a year saving an average of 22% on their comprehensive car insurance premiums. Stevie! Jamie! You going for a surf? Yes, mate. Enjoy the drive, buddy. Righto. If you're over 50, call us for a chat and find out how you could save with APIA's Drive Less, Pay Less discount. minutes inside Australia's secret world. It's not secret in our communities. A forced marriage. Sunday. This program proudly brought to you by Inner Health Plus. Have you had your Inner Health Plus today? Ready to go. Come on, Jody. Formerly married to Princess Margaret, Lord Snowden is best known for his work as a what? Jody, he's a photographer. Yeah, Sunday Times magazines, all sorts of things. A very good photographer. Thank Thanks, Jody. All of us. <laughs> Brendan, the chicken whisperer. That's right. The chicken whisperer studying dentistry. How long to go, bud? Uh, two and a half years, if I don't fail anything. No, you'll be right. I hope so. Going along nicely. Yeah, yeah. Brendan? Yep. Four questions away from fifty thousand dollars. Just nice. give me again the sound of the chicken sounding happy. It's <laughs> sounding concerned because there's a brown snake. <laughs> it's very similar. You have to know the subtle differences. Six thousand dollar question. The expression "tilt at windmills" derives from which great novel? A. War and Peace. B. Robinson Crusoe. C. Don Quixote. D. David Copperfield. I have absolutely no idea. Mm. That windmills. I have no idea. So I'm going to make like a chicken and wing it, and I'll go for B, Robin, Robinson Crusade. Yep. Actually, make it A. Lock in A. Lock in Whatever A. Whatever you want. A's in. Nah, no. wrong. What was it? Don Quixote. Oh. Sorry, mate. That's all right. Never all mind. What would a chicken say now? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you, Hello, Janice. Hello, Eddie. How are you? Can I'm you speak good. chicken? <laughs> what does that mean, mate? I've laid an egg. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Janice, I think you're off to the place that's not so happy yeah, there with that no, one. No, no. All right. Six thousand dollars. Here's the question. Okay. A native animal found in northern Australia is the ghost what? A snake. B bat. C frog. D goanna. Okay. Ghost. Native animal found in northern Australia is the I'll lock in B. Bat is locked in. Yep. And correct for six thousand dollars. <laughs> Janice, get this right. You win a thousand. Next question for twenty thousand. Get it wrong, and up comes Grant for a ten thousand dollar question. Good luck. Okay. Vincent Massif is the highest peak of which continent? A. North America. B. Antarctica. C. South America. D. Africa. Massive one, isn't it? Mm. Okay, um, don't think it's Africa, and I don't think it's South America, so I'm going to lock in B, Antarctica. Locked in? Yeah. Correct for $10,000. <laughs> How about that, Janice? <laughs> 
Hey, hey, babe, she's done well, hasn't she? She has. That's it. You've won a thousand dollars, Janice. What was that one? Oh. You went. Well, I don't know. It's look, I'm so happy. You are. That's fantastic, Janice. Wait till we win twenty thousand dollars. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you obviously <sighs> need this money, do you? Oh. Uh, it would help a lot. What would it do for you? Um, well, I look after Jet, yeah. and I also look after my 82-year-old mother. Yeah. Um, I've had Mum with me for four four years, and yeah, um, yeah it, it's it's a tough time sometimes, but yeah. Um, yeah, we we get on like a house on fire, and she absolutely adores you. Oh, she's a wonderful woman. Then. Yes, yes, <laughs> she is, and we sit there with our scotches and go, I could have answered that. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, get her a scotch. She needs yeah. to answer the next one for 20000 Hey, Janice, sit tight. We're going to find out what's happening around the globe. Oh, We're coming no. back Jeez. and you're going to win $20,000. Oh. Fingers crossed. <laughs> next exclusive video, the tense moment a baby's rescued from a gunman during a caboolture siege. Jared Baden clay breaks down in tears as he gives his version of the night his wife went missing. We're live to the court with special coverage. Oh, Why yeah. our Gold Coast reporter got this response to her questions. Police seized drugs and weapons in a raid on a Sunshine Coast house. Thieves target a Logan charity. Can you help police identify them? And Henry the polar bear steps out with the big boys at SeaWorld. Janice is in the hot seat. Now, while the uh, news break was on there, give me a little bit of that dance again. There we go. Hey, round of applause here for Janice. She's all happening. So, Janice, uh, tell us again. Jet's eight years of age. Yes. Uh, he's got autism. And ADHD. ADHD. Yeah. Mum's 82. 82. She watches yeah. the show with you every night, having a bit of a little drink there. Yes, we little, do. A uh, little heart starter yeah. for the rest of the night. Just tell me, with the 20 grand, what will you do? Well, apart from doing the boring things like paying off credit cards and, and um, uh, those sorts of things, that, the normal things, um, my, my son really wants to see the snow. So I was going to um, take him down to Threadbow or something perisher or something so good we can see you. the snow and we can both learn to ski good on you Janice good luck part-time teacher's aid yep. 20 grand that's the equivalent of making 40 yeah so it's a pretty good yep. uh, day's work okay yep. good luck yep. here comes the question cheers super dag leo wanker and george fungus are former alter egos of which australian comedian a barry humphreys b gary mcdonald c graham kennedy d paul hogan you know this, I don't you? I know this. You know this? Um, I would lock in D, Paul Hogan. I'm going to lock Paul Hogan in. I'm not going to muck around. You know John Cornell, mm -hmm. who was Strop? Yes. And Delveen, yeah. his beautiful wife, Delveen Delaney. You know, yes. they're watching the show as we speak. No! Up in Byron Bay. Say hello to John and Corny. Hi, John. How are you, mate? <laughs> they're watching it right now. And you know, to this very day, his best mate is a bloke by the name of Paul Hogan. Oh, They're great oh. mates still. What yeah. a great relationship they've had. The Paul Hogan show was fantastic. Crocodile Dundee, all those adventures together. And you know what they did? They wrote a lot of fantastic sketches about George Fungus, Leo Wanker and Super Dag. You've won $20,000. <laughs> Could be playing rock for Collingwood today. Look at this. I really am seven foot tall. That's right. <laughs> That's hey, Janice, you just won twenty grand. How about that? Oh, it's just fantastic. It's just amazing. Good Thank on you, you. Janice. Thank just won twenty grand. Catch you next time in the Millionaire Hot Seat. Good night. <laughs> Jared Baden Clay denies killing his wife as he takes the stand. A toddler caught up in a dramatic siege. Police find guns and drugs in a Sunshine Coast raid. The Logan charity hit by heartless robbers. And Henry's first look at his new home.
This is Nine News Queensland. Good evening. Accused murderer Jared Baden Clay has broken down in the witness box as he spoke about the wife he's charged with killing. For the first time, he opened up in front of the jury, declaring he did not kill Alison. On day 11, the defence dropped a bombshell. Accused wife killer Jared Baden Clay would take the stand, would face questions about his wife's disappearance and her death. His defence team getting straight to the point. Did you kill Alison? No, I did not. Did you fight with her on the evening of the 19th? No, I did not. Or the morning of the 20th April 2012? No, I did not. He went into detail about the night Alison was last seen alive, the night before she was reported missing, denying any involvement in his wife's death. Did you ever take any steps to dispose or conceal Alison's body? No. Did you at that time leave the children alone in the house to go to the Colo Creek Bridge? No, never. Were you ever scratched by your wife? Never. Dressed in a suit, yellow and black tie, wearing glasses, Baden Clay continued to answer the questions from his barrister, Michael Byrne. What were your plans for your life with Alison? We were planning to spend the rest of our lives together. We were working together on making that a reality after the infidelity I had in the past. What was your relationship with McHugh at that time? I was communicating with Tony McHugh, but in my mind we did not have a relationship. The accused wife killer told the jury through tears how his relationship with Alison began. I fell in love with her pretty much straight away. I knew she was the one. He told the court about how he proposed to Alison beneath the Eiffel Tower on Park Road at Milton and that she was in such shock she needed a week to think about her answer. Baden Clay going into lengthy detail about their extravagant honeymoon in the late 90s. They both started taking...